All right, gang, uh, stat 1800, a uh, number of problems, who knows? Uh, today is just becoming the, um, the day that I get interrupted while putting up instructional videos. So I'm going to start out with problem 24, and uh, who knows how far we'll get. I guess I'll get as far as I get before I get uh, interrupted. So um, it's been fun. So uh, problem number 24, uh, it looks like in this problem they are trying to... Um, uh, examine the relationship between percent of alcohol and wine quality. So they're trying to predict wine quality from percent of alcohol. And you can see where they have the, uh, the beta already calculated and the standard error for the beta already calculated. So uh, what we want here is uh, we want uh, the null hypothesis that beta 1 is equal to 0 versus beta 1 not equal to 0. Uh, calculate the test statistic. Well, guys, the uh, test statistic is simply the beta 1 divided by its standard error. Uh, so to get that value, you would just take uh, 0.3106 divided by 0.1531. And I get uh, 2 point, well, it tells us to go to two places, so I get 2.03. Uh, the next thing is to identify the p-value. So uh, we have degrees of freedom uh, uh, 19. It's good degrees of freedom are in minus 2. So to calculate the p-value, we'd want to go from uh, 2.03. So I'm going to, um, so again, degrees of freedom are 19. So I want to go stat, calculator, t. So 19 degrees of freedom, and I want greater than, what level of significance are we doing? So 2.03, it doesn't matter, we're doing, doing something different. So 2.03, uh, compute, so I need to multiply that by 2, so if I take 0.02, uh, 8, 3, times 2, I get 0 0.0566. So actually, we need three, so it'll be 0 0.057. Uh, reach a decision. Well, we're uh, our p-value is 0 0.05, so our I'm, I'm sorry, our level of significance is 0 0.05. Our p-value is greater than that, so we would fail to reject. Do not reject H sub O. So there is insufficient evidence to conclude a linear relationship. Now, we want a 95% confidence interval. And uh, I want to um, write down the stuff, the information from this problem, and I'm going to show you how we work this out. Okay, so 95%. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm over here writing. Guys, what, uh, what happens to get the 95% confidence interval is we take beta 1 uh, and add or subtract margin of error. And the margin of error in these problems is to take the T critical times the standard error for beta 1. So we know beta 1 is 0.3106. We don't know this value, so I'm going to put it in a box to be determined in just a few minutes, times um, S beta 1, standard error for beta 1, which is 0.1531. So I need to find this. And what I do here is I look at the T distribution. Uh, degrees of freedom will be uh, N minus 2. So our sample size, I forget, I think it was 21, but I want to make sure. So 21, so we're going to be looking at degrees of freedom equal to 19. And what we want to do is we want to find essentially the two values between which 95% of our distribution falls. Now, why 95%? Well, it's 95% because our problem says we're testing at the 0.05 level. So we're going to have 0.05 total in this tail and this tail. 
So I think the easiest, let me get this a little clear. It's gotten off just a little bit. Uh, the easiest way to do that is uh, go to, um, to my stat lab. And I like to do between on these. Uh, degrees of freedom 19, right? And I want the area in the middle to be 0.95. So when I get that, I get uh, 2.093 as my critical value. So guys, to find the left value, to find this one right here, I'm going to take 0 0.3106 minus 2.093 times 0 0.1531. And then I'm going to take 0 0.3106 plus 2.093 times 0.1531. So when I do that, I get negative 0 0.0098 and 0 0.631. So this says to three places, so negative uh, 0 0.0, well, 1, 0 to three places. And to the right will be 0 0.631. All right. Uh, question 25. Uh, 25 says fitting a straight line uh, gives the prediction line. Uh, interpret the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is the 8. So B0 uh, is 8 implies that uh, when the value of x is 0, the mean value of y is equal to 8. Uh, interpret the slope. The slope is 9, so the 9 says as we increase one unit in x, the value of y is expected to decrease by 9, supposed to increase by 9. If it had been a negative number, it would have decreased by 9. And predict the value for y if x is equal to 2. Well, guys, here we just take uh, 8 plus 18, so we put x equal 2 in here. So 9 times 2 is 18, uh, plus 8 uh, is 26.